What is going on guys? Today I'm back with another banger. You already know how it is. I am going to be buying a lost luggage off of this weird website that I found out about. And guys, these lost luggages belong to people that pretty much just lost them at the airport or something severe happened to them. So this website is pretty weird. So I'm going to go on and order a random like luggage and then I'm going to bring it here and unbox it for you guys on camera. But guys, before we start this video, I want everyone to go down there and smash a thumbs up and you already snow the way I want at least 500 likes 500 likes down below you already snow the way but anyway guys I'm gonna go on this website right now and I'm about to order a lost luggage all right guys so I'm on the website right now it's called lostluggage.com slash unknown I don't know why it says unknown like that's a bit creepy but I'm still gonna buy something off of this website see the description says right here these are lost luggages for sale from people who have abandoned them or have lost them and never came back looking for them that is really weird guys like why would someone lose a bag but never really go back to it that's a little sketchy already but there are a bunch of bags here there's like six bags on this website Jeez. All right, so there's bag purple for $5,000 guys. Where am I supposed to get $5,000 from? That's insane Also, there's bag blue for 6,000 holy it keeps getting more and more expensive down the list like this one here says bag black So the black bag is $7,000 and then the bag pink is 8,000 and then there's also bag red for 9,000 and bag light purple for $10,000 that is absolutely insane. There's no way I'm spending $10,000 on a bag because as you guys know I've never really ordered a bag off of this website So I'm probably gonna go with the cheapest one which is bag purple The reason I'm gonna go with bag purple is because it's the cheapest one and the most expensive one is also purple But it's a light purple so I think I'm gonna go with the purple one So guys make sure to go down there and smash the thumbs up button because I'm spending $5,000 and also hit that subscribe button if you want me to buy the most expensive bag on this website All right, so now I think I'm just gonna purchase this so I'm gonna a purchase all right I think I bought it so guys I'm gonna wait till this bag arrives so it's probably gonna take a week or so but anyways I'll update you guys once I have the bag all right guys so the bag has arrived I picked it up it's already been a full week so I got the bag right here and as you see, it's the purple bag that I bought. But this bag is weird because it has these little things sticking out of it. And what's more weird is this duct tape around it. I spent $5,000 on this bag right here. And I'm so curious to see what's inside of it. Like, who even goes to the airport with this thing, guys? This is just super weird. And listen, I can already hear stuff inside the bag. I hear a lot of stuff. And this bag is probably like, what? 20, 30 pounds, I think. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna start unboxing it. Oh my God, I'm so excited to see what's in here. Okay, I need a knife. All right, guys, make sure to be safe at home. Do not use any knives. I'm a trained professional, you dig? All right, so we're gonna cut off the tape. How is this even secure? It's not even that secure at all. All right, I got the tape off. Now, let's see what's in here. I'm so curious, let's see. Boom, okay, nothing in here. Guys, that smells like so much dust. It smells like somewhere old. Like, you know a really old house that's all dusty? And the furniture smells super weird. That's what this smells like. And what is this? Guys, that's what these things are. They're like giant fork and a giant spoon. What is this? This is not what I paid $5,000 for. Who even carries this? What do you want this for? What do you eat like this? Like, this is so weird. Oh my God. Whoa. Okay, that tape moved by itself, but it scared me. But anyway, guys, look. There's like a weird face on these things. Do you guys see that? Do you see that weird face? It's like all over these spoons. Oh my God, these might be cursed spoon and fork. Jeez Louise, guys. Okay, I'm gonna put these aside just in case they're cursed. Oh my God, this is creepy. I thought it was just gonna be normal. Like, what is this? It's just like a seashell, like metal thing. Okay, this might be real silver. I'm hoping it's real silver just because of how much I paid for this bag. I'm just hoping. All right, let's see what else is in here. Lord of the Rings. Look at this. It's still in the package. It's never been opened before. So what is it? I'm gonna unpackage it right now and see what this is. All right, this is... All right, guys, it looks like to be a pin. I don't even know what Lord of the Ring is, but I'm pretty sure it's like a show or something. I don't know. There's a yellow crowbar. Who brings this in the airport? This is just wild. I don't know who the owner is, but he must be one weird guy, that's for sure. Or girl. All right, let's see what else is in here. There's a bag. 
But what's really weird is these locks on it. Guys, two locks on a bag, but it's not even locking the bag. Do you see that? I don't know what this, oh jeez. All right, I'm gonna open the bag, see if I could find anything. All right, nothing in here. Let's see the main compartment. And, oh, oh my God. This is so creepy. There's just a doll in there in this bag with the locks on it. There's literally just a doll in there. This is so creepy. Oh my God. Oh, the smell smells so bad. Okay, we're gonna keep seeing what's in here. All right, there's a pair of pants in here. A pair of pants, makes sense, you know? That's something you bring with you to a trip. Oh, this smells so bad. All right, what else is in here? There's this car glass thing. I think this is glass, which is pretty cool. Guys, what car is this? Comment down below what car this is. Jeez. Uh, yeah, that's glass for sure. Yeah, glass. Anyway, I still don't see $5,000, so I'm still curious. What is this? A shirt, garbage. What is this? A scarf, garbage. It reminds me of some weird things, but guys, there's a bunch of packages in here. Look at that. Look at that. There's a bunch of boxes and stuff. So I'm going to open it up. All right, I'm going to start with this chest right here. There's a chest. I'm going to let you guys see first. All right, what's in it? What's in it? Let me see. Oh, jewelry. All right, we got this. All right, we got, oh, is this real? Look how they're blinging. Oh my God, this might be real. So I'm going to keep this. All right, all right. I might be seeing where my money's going. Well, what, what is this? I'm going to wear it, you know? I'm going to bling it out, you dig? Well, anyway, there's nothing else in here. So this is useless now. Okay, I'm going to take this off. There's like a bunch of like small like jewelry things. And I hear stuff in there, guys. We might have hit this jackpot. But, oh! Oh my god, look at this. It's like a picture of a kid. What the frig is this? It's a picture of a kid. Oh my god. Oh, all right, let's see what's in here. What are these things? Look, I got some like, it looks like vintage cards. Oh my god, what are these? Guys, are these Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Look at this. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to go through these. So after I'm done with this bag, guys, I'm gonna start searching these cards and see what they're worth online. Like, look at this. There's like a bunch of cards in here. There's like a bunch, a bunch of cards in here. Jeez Louise, that is insane. All right, there's a couple of these boxes. There's one, there's one box. Oh, these are different. These are Pokemon cards. What? Let me see. Guys, let me know if these are worth anything. I don't know if you guys see. Well, either way, if you tell me or not, I'm still gonna search them up and see what they're worth. Because I know this card might be really expensive, so I'm gonna put these aside. Oh, they might belong to this kid right here. Oh, jeez, I never thought of it like that. And there's another one right here. Another box right there. All right, now let's get to the good stuff. Okay, this might be not... Ooh, that smells bad. Let's see what's in here. And... What is this? Is this like an old game or something? Yeah, it is. Optional, single color. Okay guys, this is like a board game or whatever. That is complete garbage. So I'm gonna close this up. Now, the good stuff right here. So first package right here. Let's see what this is. Oh, a chain. All right, what is this? It's like a chain with a bracelet. All right, I think this is not gold, nothing. This might be, this might be garbage to be honest. So we'll put that on the side. Let's see next package. Oh, oh, this real gold? Guys, I think this, no, that is not, no. I just seen it in a little light, my bad. There's no way this is real gold. It's just, it looks like garbage. All right, what else is in here? Oh, what is this? Have you guys ever seen something like that? I know I haven't, that's for sure. I don't know what those are worth, guys. If you know any of them are worth something, let me know down below. This looks like, it's magnetic. Garbage, I think. So these packages are like empty. All right. We got two last things in here right now. And let's see what it is. Another one of these things, which looks like garbage. The last thing. It's like a dolphin on this thing. All right, guys, this looks really interesting. I don't see where my money could be worth, but it could be within those cards right there on the table. Because it could be really old vintage cards, which could potentially be worth thousands and thousands of dollars. All right, I'm going to go on my phone right now and search up like what those cards are worth. Because it could potentially be worth so much money, which could have made me in the end cash all my money. But why are they charging 5000 I think they're kind of ripping people off, charging. 5,000 for this garbage or maybe it's just bad luck that I had and I just got the worst bag. All right now I'm just talking nonsense So I'm just gonna sit down and start searching up the cards Money talk. 
All right, guys, so it's time to go on eBay and see how much these cards are actually worth. So first cards I'm gonna search right here are these five cards right here. They're called the Exodia pieces. And holy moly, guys, PSA 9, LOB, which are the ones I have right now, they're worth $3,500 for those five cards. Guys, I think I'm already winning my money back because that's only five cards from like 300 other cards that I have. So this is an insane win already all right the second card I'm searching up is Slifer the sky dragon all right let's see what this one is worth all right I gotta find the one that says this code right here I'm gonna put graded and see what it's actually worth oh okay not bad it's worth like $340 plus shipping but I have one two three of them so this is about a thousand extra dollars so 3,500 plus a thousand guys I'm already making my money back from this luggage all right guys I'm not gonna search too much but you guys could go search for yourself these ones are also worth $400 because apparently they're like god cards also these ones are worth $400 a piece and what's more interesting they got another box another box of Yu-Gi-Oh and another box of Pokemon cards right here so this is insane all right so I'm gonna see what these ones are worth right here so I'm on eBay right now I already typed it out because it kind of takes long to type in the names because these are really long names but this one is blue eyes white dragon graded so I'm gonna press search and guys, holy, the one I have is this one. Nope, it's not this one. That's the wrong one. The one I have is, guys, this is the one that I have right now that you see on the screen. It's worth $3,000 a piece. And I have one, two, three, four, five. And it's worth $3,000 each. That is insane. Guys, that's $15,000 just for these cards over here. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. This is insane. Now it's time to go through the Pokemon cards right here. Let's see what these are worth. Oh my god, I'm so excited, guys. I know the Charizard is worth a lot. So I'm gonna look if there's any Charizards in here. But look how sick these cards are. They're all packaged nicely. Oh, I found a Charizard. Oh my god. All right, Charizard first edition. PSA 10. All right, let's see what this is worth. Oh, oh my god, it's worth $15,000. This is insane. Oh my god, I almost made $100,000 off the $5,000, guys. Make sure to go down there, smash the thumbs up button, and maybe I'll do a giveaway on this. I don't know, but all I know is I'm balling with these cards. First, I thought I was gonna get scammed with this thing, but guys, I think I cashed out with these cards. Maybe all these cards belong to that little kid, and then he turned to a grandpa, and he was gonna pass them on. But then maybe he passed away, and then decided to keep them in the bag. Oh my god, guys, that is an insane find. Make sure to go down there, smash the thumbs up button. All right, guys, so that is gonna be a wrap. This is absolutely insane. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to go down there, smash that thumbs up button, and maybe I'll do more videos like these. Maybe I'll order another one. Maybe I'll order the one that was really expensive, because I clearly really got my money back but anyway guys make sure to like comment and subscribe and as always peace